Okay, so now time to have a look at the serve then. So talk us through basic serving mm -hmm. through to advanced serving. What are the things to do? Well, first of all, service is obviously the most important shot. You've got to do it every match, uh, plenty of times during each competition. So it's important to have a good serve. Um, you start off with the same grip as you would use for a backhand or forehand or push. So the same grip. Mm -hmm. where you've got your finger there and, and the thumb then stabilising the bat. And the main thing is you've got the ball in the free hand, uh, you're having a look where the opponent is and you have to throw the ball up and then contact the ball so you can't just hit it straight up your hand. So you have to throw it up mm -hmm. and then you come under the ball, that's backspin, you come around the ball which is side spin or you can go over the top of the ball which is top spin. Okay, I know it sounds simple. Do you need to serve from one side to the other, or what, how does the, where, where does the line come in? Or does sure, it? yeah, it does come in. It comes in for doubles. So if you're playing doubles, and if I was playing with you and you'd yep. be standing there as my partner, in doubles you have to serve from the right-hand corner, across the table, to the right-hand corner. Fine. Then it's free play yep. after that. So, so that's the only time the centre line comes in. That's the only time so during doubles. doubles. doesn't matter. Singles, you can serve here, you can serve here. The main thing with service, you have to serve within this line, so it can't stand outside the line to serve. Right. Okay. So I stand within this line and, and play, and the same over here, I can't stand here and serve you know, close to the net. Or, or so you, do you have a favourite type of serve that you, this is what you like to generally play? Yeah, I think when you're starting out you've got obviously a forehand serve or a backhand serve. So a forehand serve, you throw the ball up and then you hit the ball over the It has to hit your side first, over the net and yep. hit your opponent's side. You can hit your opponent's side twice, five times, ten times, doesn't matter, but it has to hit your side once. Yeah. So okay. would you generally play a backhand, uh, a backspin serve? I would, personally, I would generally play that, but really? I do teach backhand <coughs> serves because it's really important as well to have variation. Variation is key in table really? tennis. So backhand serve, you can throw the ball as high as you want, you can throw it as low as you want. What's the benefit from the height then? Uh, the height, the ball's coming down with speed, therefore you can generate a little bit more spin, but okay. timing is obviously an issue. And even throwing it up straight and back is a problem because you might throw it and obviously sideways or backwards and that's not allowed, you have to throw it straight up and down. Right, okay. And then, in terms of trying to choose which way you're going to do that, is it that your opponent has just got used to that type of serve you've been using, therefore you just feel the need to mix it up? Yes, it's good to have a wide range of serves. <clears throat> and whether it be a high toss serve or change in the action that you're hitting the ball. Right. And that's the key, variation is the key because if your opponent is getting used to your serves, you've got you've to have got a couple more guessing. in reserve. Yeah. Your favourite type of serve? My favourite serve is backspin, so I hit it under the ball. Hit it under the ball. And and what's the benefit of that for you then? Is it the fact that there's, there's less pace on the ball that your opponent can work with? I try and serve, obviously, the ball keeping close to the net so yeah. my opponent can't attack. Yeah. As soon as that ball goes long, it gives my opponent the chance yeah. to attack me. So I serve close to the net, my opponent can't attack me, they have to return it back and then I get the first attack. So they generally have to push? Back to you. If the serve is low enough and good enough. Yeah. If it's bouncy and high, obviously you're gifting your opponent the opportunity to, to attack. Okay, great. Okay, let's see a few in uh... So it's important to keep the ball above the table. You can't drop your hand below the table to serve. The ball has to go up. And what I'm looking for is that ball to be nice and close over the net. If it's long, then my opponent can attack me. So I'm trying to keep it nice and short over the net and then I get the first attack and that's the key of a good serve. For variation, you can serve it out long. I see a gap there, so I'm going to serve it out long to my opponent. My opponent's waiting, a good serve. I get the first attack. Again, we don't always want to do the same serve, so I just change it a little bit different and then I got the first attack again. And the same with backhand. And I got the first attack again. So it's a, it's a case of variation. You can serve short in the forehand and long in the forehand and short in the back end, long in the back end. And you can throw the ball as high as you want as well. But the main thing is the serve is a setup for your attack. Very rare you can get a service that your opponent just can't return. But that comes with practice and the amount of spin you can put on the ball. And I tell people when I'm, when I'm coaching them is, you know, treat this as, a, as an apple and you're trying to take the skin off the apple and that's the way to contact the ball, is to get the fine cut on the ball with your bat, using your bat as if it was a knife and you're cutting the, the skin off the apple. Okay, that's great. For more table tennis coaching from Ryan Jenkins, please visit homeleisuredirect.com forward slash TV.